Hi there, Marcus again from 4Pods. Just want to see if we can do a quick video on um, how to clear the queues or allow you to do a cash up. Um, in 4Pods we have the ability, if you see on the screen on the right hand side, to queue the transactions up as they are finalized. In other words, a cash sale has been done, a table has been finalized on 4Pods Touch or whatever the case may be. So whether you're running 4Pods Touch or 4Pods Scan, the concept is the same. I'll show you a 4Pods Scan screen just now. So as you can see here on the screen, we've got a queue number there. Now when I try to do a cash up, um, and even a waiter cash up, it tells me that there's a queue uh, on the system. The queue means this three transactions that has not been updated. Now obviously if the transaction has not been updated, the sales totals will not be correct. Um, and because uh, there's a queue, it m means a couple of things. First of all, on the screen, the suppressed transactions are on. So let me show you quickly what it looks like on 4Pass Scan as well. Um, just opening up 4Pass Scan so you can just see the same concept. All right, logging in, and then you'll see suppressed transactions is on at the bottom of the screen. Now, as soon as I open up 4Pass Scan, you'll see the domain controller actually opened up. Um, and it's got a cross through it. So I'll explain that just now. Okay, so first of all, the transaction, the queue is there. So, first step, yes, check if your domain controller is open. In other words, the program is running. Yes, it's running. Okay, there's a problem on it. I'll explain that now. The second problem that we have is the suppressed transactions are on. So, let me go out of 4Pass Scan so I can just handle it in the 4Pass Touch first option menu and again you'll run either the one or the other you won't run both as i'm explaining here but just so that you can understand so in the new menus manager function you'll see right at the bottom is an option that says suppress okay so i take suppress off and now you see the suppress is off on the screen okay let's check for post scan and see if the suppress is off there as well logging in and as you can see no more suppress here at the bottom of the screen okay um, all right so let's go out of there all right now on this four pass touch you'll see there's still a queue number now the million dollar question why why is there a queue so let's go to the domain controller on the domain controller um, we have customers that does all sorts of funny things for whatever reasons uh, and literally it's because they don't know better they decide let's try this and let's try that let's click here let's do that whatever so let's explain what that is first of all that little legend um, there in other words the picture is just a legend and it's explained on the right hand side so when it's got a cross through it says active but not found in other words yes it's available but it's it can, four pass cannot connect to that uh, address that PC name whatever and that might be for your local machine a second machine a tenth machine it's the same thing if it cannot connect it cannot connect now if it's a second machine in other words something on a network that is part of Windows it's not four pods um, and sometimes what happens Windows changes settings on the networking when we tell you on the WhatsApp uh, and advise you to go through the video again we're not trying to be funny we're trying to help you to save you money because otherwise you'll have to pay us to go look for it okay and it's typically uh, one of the options that says uh, password is, uh, is allowed or password is required when doing an update over the network all right so let's handle this problem first okay so my local computer I've only got one has that okay so let's go into the back office and I can show you why so store setup and security setup point of sale and that is my server machine so I'm going to click on server now you'll see that in the network address here I went and decided to put in there now localhost one some people will go and put in all sorts of funny names there they'll put in server they'll put in ABC they'll put in my machine whatever it is they'll put it in so for now let's change it to local sorry localhost all right but then what they go and do also uh, they can set it either up as a kitchen monitor or they go and set it up as a remote pause or both okay um, I really don't understand why it's neither of those things if you don't know what it means leave it alone don't go and scratch okay all right and so let's leave it as a kitchen monitor for now 
let's go and see what the controller does now okay and if I look at my domain controller it'll take a couple of seconds to update and now you'll see it's totally blank it's like there's nothing well it's nothing because you told the system that it's a kitchen monitor machine it's not a kitchen monitor the kitchen monitor is that computer that stands in your kitchen to display messages as you ring it up from in a restaurant environment so it's obviously not that so don't tick it the other thing that they do is they go and set it up as a remote pass remote pass is something new that we've developed for customers that has multiple branches and so on if you go look at the four pass enterprise beta 2 video that will explain that okay so for here let's take that one off and put this one on and so that I can show you what that looks like now okay um, Oh, sorry it's telling me your enterprise of branch is not configured therefore you can't do it something new we added uh, in four parts so to protect people from clicking the wrong thing all right so luckily that won't happen anymore so it now says local host um, and none of those ticks are in let's get exit out of there so it'll update um, update itself I mean and let's give the controller a couple of seconds to update itself and there you can see it's uh, showing activity now and you can see it's uploading the sales so if I go to my touchscreen now my queue number there it's just jumped to zero okay so now I can go and do my cash ups and my everything that I need to do okay all right as you can see no more errors and so on and that applies to the 4 pass scan program as well okay so in 4 pass scan um, once I've logged in there's also no queue number there and uh, Q number zero no suppress on I press F12 um, and it's telling me that there's still open transactions those are saved transactions uh, on the system if you want to clear them uh, it will clear it but it might be sales so for now I'm going to just say yes all right and you can see that the cash up is uh, able to go through or calculating it all right, and that's, those are the main issues. The rest of it might be you need to do a repair on the database. In other words, the controller cannot open. The back office doesn't open. Different scenarios. This was just the queue. Okay, enjoy.